Good night. Tonight I will tell you a story about my life. Life doesn't always like straight like this. Sometimes there is up and down like I always say. And sometimes something we don't want to happen, unexpected thing happen, bad things happen in life. So we have to prepare and we have to become grateful. <coughs> I had accident, actually my car, not me. I drove my car inside a residence because inside that residence I want to visit a cafe but it turns out the fact that the cafe is closed down maybe they are bankrupt they were bankrupt and they moved to another place and then I follow the way <coughs> And when I want to turn left, I want to check the condition. I my my head turn right like this. I check whether any vehicle comes from the right side. But my wheel like this a little bit, and then voila my front wheel my left front wheel fall down inside a sewer and then i'm alone i drive alone i drove alone i'm a female i cannot leave my car it is so heavy <coughs> so the first thing I try to found try to find the security card in that residence and talk with him to help me check the condition of my car. At first we put bricks like red bricks to build a house uh, behind my wheel, my left front wheel. So I try to move my car like not not like this but like this. What should I, I tell? Mm, like <coughs> not move forward, backward. But it slipped the wheel. So we remove Uh, <coughs> I mean we we cancel the plan and then a uh, housewife came around and she has two children a boy and a daughter the boy said oh I knew that uh, it's hard to move backward because the car, the side of the car, I don't know what he means, but I think the design of the car uh, let the <coughs> movement of the car depend on the front side. So if the front side stuck and slip like my front wheel, I cannot do anything I should move backward but how can I move backward if my car like this like like slip and my front wheel fall down inside the sewer so there are more people come the security guard called another guy and then to another guy came 
a near me. <coughs> Not just me, but one of the guys said that his family uh, experienced the same thing. And uh, the husband of the wife experienced the same thing too in that area in that specific location so it's really dangerous so the turn is like like this turn left and right and this what I should what should I say I don't know the term in English like I mean there is a way to go left a way to go right and this me want to turn left <coughs> white of the car is white so when I want to move the steer to the left yeah it makes me fall down so not just me but many people experience bad things too like me but those people know that we have same experience and we help each other yeah maybe the security guard and his friend do not experience the same thing but the moral of the story is people who want to help you usually know your condition usually know how does it feel to be hurt stay in bad condition or uh feeling helplessly suffering that is why <coughs> the phenomenon sometimes is weird we think that rich people will help us because they have more money they have more resources but actually that is not the reality Usually people who really want to help us may be poor like us or in the same condition because they know how does it feel. They know our suffering. That is why they want to share, they want to care, they want to help, offering help. That is why we cannot just reach people. Maybe they have their own problem too like uh, sometimes <coughs> people don't realize but rich people have their own burden too if they have company they should pay for the company costs like hiring people like paying the tax like like uh, paying ways to their employee at home and many other more things they have many responsibilities and maybe they have bigger house they have bigger car many car that is why they spend more money for gasoline they spend more money for the tax of their house the tax of their cars and they pay their maid they pay their butler they pay their uh driver chauffeur but it's a good thing they hire people they give money to poor people hire them we have to think positively that they can let other people earn money put food on the table for their family so we cannot just and force rich people to help us but <coughs> i learned from this experience that if we want to ask for help it's better find people who has the same experience like us they know our suffering so they willing they are willing to help us so you shouldn't force people to help you but you can find another people <coughs> helping doesn't mean you give them money but when you care like the housewife come into someone who need help 
cheering, encouraging, and then finding people, another people, another guy to help. Yeah, that's a good thing. Money doesn't always solve every problem. Like this, this, this story, giving money maybe can help me find someone to help me lift the car or help to move the car backward like, like this story. But <coughs> there are still good people out there who want to help us even though we don't give the money. That is why we should pray and we should do charity and we should help each other. I believe that if we are good people, we help people, sometimes some where in the future people will help us too. You don't have to give your money to help people, but if you can, just give it. <coughs> if you help people, believe me, someday another people will help you, maybe with unexpected thing or way, like me. Some guys help me lift the heavy car and someone some a guy helped me to steer my wheel move my vehicle backwards so it doesn't slip anymore so keep doing good things in your life and believe that your good deed will always fruitful in the end and believe in this world there are still many good people out there who want to help you sincerely and there are many nice people in the world so you just keep believing and then be patient someday that people will come into your life and surprise you that there are good people out there in this world <coughs> so I want to say thanks for my guardian angel the three guys who helped me lift the car and one guy who, who helped me steer the wheel and another people like the housewife who want to help me to find the guy to help me and then another girl, they, she even told the guy, help her to steer, to, to move from this residence so she will not trap anymore. Like, it is just simple, simple help and caring, but it means a lot for me. Maybe they don't give me money, which I need. Because I don't have income, I still depend on parents, I help my parents, I want to become independent, but I still can't. But those people show me to not lose hope. That is why I want to share this story. I want you to be grateful if there are people who want to help you to in life. Because if we help each other, this world will become a good world. Okay? Keep praying, keep doing charity, and your good deed will come back to you. Even though you help stranger, maybe someday another stranger will help you, even though you don't ask them to. So let's fill this world with love and not hate, not racism. Because I'm Chinese, I'm minority here in Indonesia, in my hometown Banyuwangi, and they are not Chinese. They are Indonesian. I mean, <coughs> our ethnic, our race is different. But they still help me. That is why I want to share this story that let's forget about our differences and let's help each other 
because with helping each other we make a better world and we are the one who decide our future and the future of our world so let's teach each other let's remind each other how to stay generous and loyal and kind okay see ya